Hey guys, it's Mauricio, and today we're going to be learning how to install a Forge server on uh, Minecraft, uh, specifically for Mac, uh, for 1.15.2. Going through this process uh, recently, it was kind of annoying, uh, the lack of uh, videos and support for Macs, uh, for s setting up servers uh, for Forge and paper and things like that, so I decided to make this video. Now, that should be quick and sweet, uh, and things that I had problems with that hopefully you won't have to have. Uh, to start off with is download uh, all the software that we need and uh, they'll be in the link uh, the, there will be links below uh, so you're going to need the development kit uh, uh, number eight uh, you can I think there's up to 14 now but with forge and a lot of minecraft uh, applications you want to be using uh, number eight because if not when you're trying to like allocate ram or open certain jars it just does not work and that was probably the biggest problem i had you want to be downloading is forge uh, you're going to want to get the recommended and uh, hit the installer there and then the other thing is uh, another java so let's download these things real quick i think i may already have uh this java because i already installed uh, forge but not the the server side uh, so let's download this actually I can do this uh, if you do Java dash uh, no Java runtime present so that actually tells you that I don't have the development kit uh, needed so then I can just do go here and so you're gonna want to get there's only one for Mac so which is great go go Max uh, so download this you're probably gonna have to make a make an account that's okay it's safe you can set it to wherever you want I already downloaded this but you'll just hit Java download and it'll also give you a DMG here that you'll need to click and then the last thing I'll need is the forge installer uh, do not click anything do absolutely do not block just do not click anything you're waiting for five seconds and then hitting this skip button and then saving the file you can see this is forge installer.jar uh, which tells us that uh, this is safe and then you want to get out of this stupid ad ad stuff but once you have those three things then you can start moving uh, so you're going to want to throw the forge installer onto your desktop and you're going to want to, uh, open both of your, your Java application, uh, DMGs that you got. And so you're going to, this is going to be similar to the other Java one that you're going to have to do. Uh, so when you get this, this is very common. So So now you're gonna to want to double click on this JDK and then go through installing. Uh, this is natural, go to system preferences and go to privacy and security. Uh, go to general, open anyway. Uh, so now you wanna hit open and you wanna just follow these steps and install. do the exact same thing is going to pop up for Java and you're probably gonna to have to go to security and uh, privacy to allow it to open so once you download both of those what you're gonna to want to do is uh, I've already have some examples here you want to make a folder call it whatever I mean this is a finished product right now uh, but you're gonna end up with this uh, but first off you just need to name a, a folder whatever you really want uh, I'm going to name it, let's say, because I'm really boring. And then I'm going to first open up this forest jar file. Again, you have to go do this a million times because Apple is very concerned for our security. Uh, so now we have to do, hit open anyways. We're going to open. 
And so for the first time, uh, you first want to install the client and you're going to want to hit OK and it's going to run a ton of files and then eventually it's going to say done and then you're going to be OK. And so once you finish running that, what you're going to want to do is actually open up your Minecraft and check if it installed uh, properly. And so you'll see that you can click on different profiles, hit forge, and that will tell you that the client actually installed correctly. If you can't see it, you can go to installations and you can search and find it in this area. But we're going to exit out of that for, for now. So now the next step is we're going to want to do install server. Uh, don't worry when you see this red stuff, uh, that's totally fine. What you're going to want to do is click three, these three little uh, test, and then I'm going to choose that. And so now it's not red anymore. That's what we like to see. And we're going to hit OK. I'm doing most of this in real time and I'm just kind of going through this quickly because this process shouldn't take you much longer than like 10, uh, 15 minutes. This problem is making sure you get the right development kit or else when we're trying to give the server the start.command file that we're going to be doing in a little bit. Uh, when we're trying to access the jar through that, uh, if you don't have the right development kit, it's not going to work. Uh, and so you need to make sure you're getting the exact versions that I'm linking. So that's done and we hit OK. Now we're going to want to do is go to that uh, folder. And now you're going to get these four and that's great. Now you're going to want to do is click on that forge file and it's going to start populating this and that's great. That's how we know it's working. And so once it doesn't look like we're going to get anything more uh, the first thing you want to do is go to eula.txt open it with the text app you're going to want to set the eula equals false to true uh, save that and then uh, if you want to like do port forwarding and give your uh, server an ip address to play with friends and family because if you're hosting a server like you're doing now by yourself uh, you want to make sure that you're giving your ip address to people that you know well or else like they can take a lot of your information which is not good uh, fair warning uh, so if you want to go to here then you'll go to IP and you'll just click on this and put your whatever IP address that you want to do and I'm not gonna go over port forwarding and stuff because there are a million very helpful videos on that already I'm just trying to give you a quick uh, way to do things on Mac for Forge. So now the next step is you're going to want to make a start.command file. So you want to go to text edit uh, and you're going to want to do file new. And very important, you're going to want to format this with plain text. Uh, and then you're actually, let's see, I already have a start.command file here uh, that I'm actually going to steal. Uh, and this will be in the link as well. And so notice how, so you're going to want to call this start.command uh, and you're going to want to save this into your folder that you created and so once you save it there uh, notice how we called this forge.jar uh, remember what you named this because that's important and then this number right here uh, the fours are how much RAM you're gonna give your server I'm gonna give it four uh, but you can run it with as little as one. So now we have the start.command. And so now the next step is going to your terminal to give this command privileges. So you're going to want to do chmod a plus x. And then you're going to want to add another space to it. And you're going to want to drag this file directly to uh, that space. I'm going to hit enter, then you're done. Uh, then now what you're going to want to do is hit start.command. And I did the classic mistake where I told you to remember the name of the file and that I didn't actually end up doing what I said, but it happens, you know, mistakes happen. So now we're going to rename this and make it forge.jar. 
because now it knows what to actually open and now we're going to start that command gui that you're always going to get every time you log in and you're just going to wait a little bit because it's going to log it's going to be logging chunks uh doing your spawn and just everything that it needs when you see this done uh that's when you know that you're good to go uh, you can just go to minecraft open up minecraft Uh, enter with forge play and then when you're going to the actual host you just want to type uh, or for the IP address you just want to type in localhost or if you gave it an IP address then you're gonna want to click on that and then you'll spawn in and you'll have your own server and you're good to go and that's about it and if you have any questions uh, about this video or you want to see something else in terms of uh, how to do uh, certain Minecraft installations on Mac, uh, just let me know uh, in the comments.